All right, Ray, this is definitely the fight I've been looking forward to. William the Refrigerator Perry against Manute Bowl. It's kind of like when you walk into the fun house and you look into the mirror. At one time, you're really tall and skinny. The other time, you're short and kind of chubby. I'll tell you what, I'm a little bit nervous because we've got a big guy, William Refrigerator Perry, that I'm afraid if he goes against the ropes, that he might fuck, that he might cave the whole ring, ring in, you know? Yeah. And if, and if uh, Manute Bowl goes against the ropes, he might flip over the top. Well, you know, uh, legend has it that when Manute Bol was a teenager back in the Sudan, he killed a lion with a spear. So I guess handling a former Chicago Bear should be no problem. At 400 plus pounds, William the Refrigerator Perry may be a big guy, but he's not a tall guy. Not next to former basketball player Manute Bol. And that's where this fight should get interesting. He's seven foot something, I'm 6'3 or whatever. But, uh, you know, you don't fight standing up. You got to bend down, you got to bend your knees and everything. So he's got to come down to size. Manu, you're going up against the fridge, and we're going to run. He's got to have the longest jab in the history of the sweet science. Meet Sudan native Manu Bowl. The tallest player in NBA history is ready to go three rounds against football legend Refrigerator Perry. Oh, you might be big, you might be stronger, but I think that I'm strong too. Strong and generous too. The money Bowl earns tonight will go to his Ring True Foundation, which provides aid to displaced Sudanese families. A good reason to put his body on the line against the fridge. I'm going to kill him. There he is, 7'7", seven seven, Minute Bowl, the tallest player to ever lace it up in NBA history. How's that going to help him here? I, I don't know, to be honest with you. I mean, this guy is so tall, I don't know where you hit him without it being below the belt. This is going to be a tough one for the fridge. Look at the size of this guy. I love it how he has to duck under the doorway just to get into the ring. Coming to the ring, Mother That's, 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 a, that's something. This guy is a physical specimen, man. Just look at him. Oh, I love what the fridge is decked out in. It looks like a uh, one piece for a little swimwear, baby. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> now, the fridge, if you haven't seen him in a while, uh, he looks a little different. And no, he's not wearing his helmet right now. <laughs> He's a guy that spent nine years in the NFL, dominating offensive lineman, one of the great personalities the NFL has ever seen. And now making his entrance to the arena, the Fridge, William Perry. characters the NFL has ever seen of course during his rookie year with the Super Bowl champion Chicago Bears he played defensive tackle but his coach Mike Ditka inserted him on offense in the sixth game of the year in the seventh game on Monday night he scores a touchdown from the backfield would you have ever wanted to tackle him no absolutely not you, need, you know you need a army to tackle this guy and here to set the scene for this big and tall bout is Michael Buffer Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red and weighing in at 240 pounds. Standing tall at 7 feet 7, he's a proud warrior, one of the truly formidable physical specimens in all the world. From the rugged region of Khartoum, Sudan, here is all-time basketball legend, Manute 
the Sudanese freedom fighter. And across the ring, his opponent, hiding out of the blue corner, wearing gold trimmed with royal blue and standing six feet three inches and weighing in at 375 pounds and some change. A man who has led both college and professional teams to football championships, one of the most intimidating and fearsome players of all time from Aiken, South Carolina, a Sugar Bowl champion, an ACC player of the year, he's William. The Refrigerator Perry! Okay, gentlemen, the veterans, such as Don Stanley, respect the demo commands at all times. Remember, keep your punches up. Time out, time out. Gotta keep your punch. Right here is okay. All right? All right, shake hands. Good luck to both of you. Let's go. Go back to your corners. And win. Everyone in the boxing world amazed by this fight. And, the, and look at Raul Caiz. All right, here are some staggering numbers that you people at home have probably never seen. A man seven foot seven stepping into the ring. Fridge, okay, let's be honest. He broke our scale. It topped off at 350 during the weigh-in. He says 375. I'm thinking somewhere in the four bills range. <laughs> Closer to it. Now, how's he got to use his weight to his advantage? I mean, Minute Bowl looks like he could just uh, kind of hammer him into the ground with head over head shot. <laughs> He's got to use his strength, stay low, come at him, and try to break him down. So two former pro athletes step into the center of the ring, and what a great visual image this is. Manute Ball dancing around the fridge, just kind of circling, awaiting his prey. That's the first mistake that the fridge is making, is staying on the outside of those long arms of Manute Ball. you got to get on, get on the inside, bang the body, use your strength. And use your, you know, well, I don't know if he got any hand speed, but he's got to use his side, his strength on the inside. Well, Manute trying to put forth an attack there, trying to land a couple of punches. They pretty much get deflected, though, by the fridge, who at this point kind of living up to his old days with the Chicago Bears and being defensive. <laughs> he's got to close the gap. He's got to. He's too far away. Well, I mean, look at the reach, though, on Manute. I'm not so sure you want to get much closer, but here comes the fridge. Oh, he takes a couple of shots to the head. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. And now Fridge has got a tackling Manute, although don't Fridge, he does not have the football, so don't drop him for a sack or anything. And the ref steps in, Raul Caiz separates the two. The only thing I'll say is that, is that Manute Paul is doing what he's supposed to, stay on the outside, use those long arms. Oh, good, 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 right here, look at that. And once oh. again, the two get tied up under 10 seconds to go in the first round. Fridge, a little bit winded so far, but Manute, impressive. Or at least the more impressive of the two, Ray. Yes, right now, he's still keeping the fridge on the outside of his long arms. And if he keeps uh, doing what he's doing, I'll tell you what, if you made right hands, the fridge may drop. Yeah, but the fridge also might drop one in on Manute. And don't forget, still to come, our main event, Joey Buttafuoco, surrounded by his well-wishers, ready to fridge. And it is underway with Manute Bowl and William the Refrigerator Perry. And Fridge has got to make some sort of offensive attack early on, doesn't he? Yes, I'm, he has to get inside. I, I keep reiterating that. But he's staying on the outside. You know way in the world you can beat a big guy like Manute Bowl by standing on the outside. I don't care how strong you are. You're not gonna, by the time you get inside, he's going to move away. Manute so far the more aggressive of the two. And you know what? The, that kind of surprises me a little bit because if I'm Manute, I'm thinking if Fridge lands one, I'm in trouble. And here comes Fridge, <laughs> chasing after Manute. And once again, every time he gets him against the ropes, it's more of a football slash wrestling move, right? Yes, it is. It looks like he's ready to slam him like he slammed those quarterbacks. Well, Raul Caiz separates the two, tells him to start fighting a little bit. Fridge, you can see him. Breathing kind of deep, and I'm sure he's looking forward to the end of round two once again. I tell you, Chris, I, I'm fearful that if the fridge hits him with a body shot, his hand might go right through the roots back. And we are through two rounds. Ray, who do you give the edge to? you got to give it to Ball. He's the only one who's landed, and he punches effectively. I mean, look at the fridge. He's shaking his head. He looks defeated. 
Well, the guy knows how to win. He won Super Bowl 20 with the Chicago Bears. In the meantime, let's see what's going on in Manute's corner. You know, we're winning this fight. We're winning this fight. Don't get careless, but be aggressive this round. Man, a man got me alone. I can't get in. You heard him, Ray. William Perry complaining to his corner. He can't get in there. What does he do to combat that seven-inch reach advantage that Manute has? Well, you got to cut the distance. Stay low. Bob and weave a little bit. Move your head a little bit. But stay but low. He can't get any lower than that. But you got to close the distance. He's got to come in, test this guy's punching ability. You know, have a little confidence in his own chin. And when he's coming in, throwing punches at the same time. You're not coming in catching him. You're coming in throwing punches. Back this guy in the corner and go to work. Let's check in now with Barry Williams, who's standing by with Joey Buttafuoco. Barry? Barry and Joey, we look forward to that. Bob, the first, the third and final round of a new bowl. And William, the refrigerator, Perry. And Bridge has got to pick it up a little bit, Ray. Oh, he has to go do a whole lot of work. And so there he is. He's staying on the outside. I keep seeing it. Close the distance. Being a very defensive fighter, Manute Bowl trying to land a few punches. We expect Fritch to go, to go on the attack at some point here, right? I know he was a defensive player, but this is ridiculous. Fritch just keeps backing away and backing away. At some point, he's got to go in there and risk it against the seven foot seven inch man. You guys got a box, or you're not going to get paid. Either one of you. Come on, let's go. Let's box. Hey, you heard Raul Caiz. He gets right to the point and tells the fighters to start earning their paycheck. And here it comes. The fridge working Manute into the corner, but still he didn't land a great punch. No, it's a great tackle. And if this is WrestleMania, that would have been a great move. But right now he's got to throw punches, close the distance, and try to make... There it is, Jack. Go ahead, go ahead, Fridge. Go at him. Not the best punch, but at least a little bit more aggressive yeah. than we've seen so far. And there's a Let's flailing go. uppercut there Let's by Manute Bowl. Well, you know, he's trying. He's trying yeah. to use that long reach. Go, he's to make a there it is. Keep going. Yeah. Like I said, when we lose on the left, the fridge on the right, they look like the number 10, don't they? And that will do it for Manute Bowl and William the Refrigerator Perry, who's showing a little bit of frustration there. And that's probably because he knows that Manute got the best of him here, right? Manute Bowl, to me, the only one really throwing any effective punch. Well, here you'll see one in the first round, a nice little combination work into the grill of the fridge. Ooh, nice short right hand, and, you know, fridge tied him up, and, of course, Manute did the smart thing and hold, hold his arms. Well, dangerous to stick your hands anywhere near Fridge's mouth, we know that much. Then in the third round, Fridge had, ah, had enough. Let's get a decision. All right now, let's send it into the middle of the ring with Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecards, and all three judges have this the same at 30 to 27. The winner by unanimous decision, the Sudanese warrior, Manu Ball. And you know what? Let's give Manu Ball his just due. He is donating his proceeds to his war-torn homeland back in the Sudan, a guy that obviously loves his country and is really fighting for it. No big surprise here. Manute Bowl aggressive from round one on. Fridge just, he was content with just standing still. That's it, and he's gets tired from doing that. All right, here with the winner is Michael Buffer. I'm here with our winner by unanimous decision. I, I don't even know if I'm in the camera frame here, ladies and gentlemen. How do you think you did? I think uh, I thought that uh, it, was, it should be better than this anyway, but uh, anyway, I thought that uh, we tried hard, and uh, I always want to, you know, compete and try to give fans. Fridge, come on over here. William Perry. Don't squeeze me now. Don't squeeze me between you guys. Fridge, you look like you had a little, like a stamina problem out there. What, what, was, what was going on? Were you just trying to get inside and work underneath? Well, you know, you got, you got a new 7'6", and, you know, he got long, long reach and everything. The only thing I saw was TK on his, his belt and everything, so I just... To, What's it like when you just stare and you just sort of like keep your head down and also that's all you see? That's all I, hey, that's all I see. Back to you, Chris and Ray.